Hey, this is Jay from internetbusinessmastery.com. I'm here to talk a little bit about creating videos for course materials. Uh, in fact, in the Internet Business Mastery coaching course recently, we were asked the question, how do we render our videos? What settings do we use inside of Camtasia in order to create our course materials? Now, I think we've mentioned Camtasia on the podcast, on the show, or on the site before. Uh, in fact, I know we have. Camtasia is a very powerful program. Uh, this is Camtasia that that, uh, you can use to create training materials. In fact, Camtasia is what I'm using at this very moment to record this video. It records basically what shows up on the screen. So right now I'm recording my own screen to create this video. So somebody wanted to know, well, what settings do we use when we, when we produce videos and turn them into course materials? And uh, let me show you an example of what they're referring to. Here's an example of, uh, this is the Internet Business Mastery coaching course right here. And uh, so down in here, we've got a number of different modules. And if we click through to one of these modules, we come to a page like this. So this is module six, generating massive, massive daily traffic to your site and products. And you'll see we have watch online, a few different videos, watch now. And if we were to click on this watch online, it brings up a video like this with the table of contents over here and the video over here. And uh, this is uh, done in a flash format and is a very uh, convenient way for users to access materials, video materials through uh, for a course. And so ultimately, uh, this stuff, what this is all about, actually, let's see, this one, here we go. Um, what this is all about is uh, delivering your video content to the consumer with the best possible or the best accept acceptable quality. So it's got to be good enough that they'll want to stick around and watch it. You know, it can't be because we have to compress video to put it online. We, we sacrifice some quality, but we can't do sacrifice so much quality that it's just grainy or, or you know, it doesn't sound good, doesn't look at all good or it's uh, blurry or pixelated. So you still need to maintain enough quality, but get it small enough that the download or streaming time is quick and they can experience the, the uh, content as quickly as possible. Of course, we want it to be compatible for them as well, meaning that it's easy for them to bring up in whatever players they might have on their computer and not put barriers between uh, them and the content of having to download more players or things like that. So it's all about providing the best possible user experience for uh, the people consuming your content. So let's go ahead and uh, look here at Camtasia. This is an example video that I brought up. Uh, it's actually a video that we posted on the, on the blog before. And I just brought this up as an example. And what I did is, uh, first of all, I added some markers. So I'm going to assume, you know, I'm just going to be talking about the rendering settings because that was the specific question that was asked. I'm going to go ahead and this, this video is just going to assume that you already uh, know a bit about using Camtasia to record and edit and put your video together down here on the timeline. But once you've got it all edited and put together, what you want to do is make sure you have these markers in here because this is what gets used for the nifty little table of contents over here is those markers and whatever you name each marker is what uh, is gonna be listed in the table of contents. So you put your uh, indicator at a, a certain spot on the timeline and hit control M and that brings up a marker and you can name it and put that marker in. So once you've got it all edited, put your markers in, uh, you hit control P for produce or click on this produce video as over here. And uh, that's gonna bring up this little wizard. Now there's a lot of product or a production production presets that you can use but I prefer to use the custom settings down here so I'm going to click through uh, to custom I select the flash format up here we're going to use SW, SWF video click next first thing you want to do is click at uh, select which template you want I select the one video with TOC so that gives me the video player here with the table of contents over here all right, let's go through to flash options. Make sure you're using SWF is the format that we prefer. <clears throat> and the reason I use flash is because the flash player is installed on 98% of uh, computers out there. So uh, it's gonna open up in a browser and play for 98% of the people who try to play my video. So that's about the highest compatibility you can get. Uh, whereas with QuickTime or Windows Media Video, you can run into problems. They might not have QuickTime, they might have, not have Windows Media Video. So um, that's why we like to use flash for the course. Target flash version, we say seven uh, because most people will have seven or eight, version seven or eight. Um, I come down here and switch this, six, this color to 16 bit. This shrinks things down and makes a little bit of a more compact video so it'll play or stream faster. You can also make things much smaller by going down to a frame rate of five. 
uh, stuff you record with like your camcorders at a 30 frames per second rate. But when we're dealing with a screen capture like this right here, where you're capturing uh, slides or a program or something on your screen, you can get away with a much slower uh, frame rate, five, and it'll still look fine and really bring the size of the whole file down quite a bit. So that's a good thing to do. Audio quality, if you want the very best, it's gonna be 44.1 stereo 128. And if you have music and stuff, you might or special effects, you might wanna consider using that. Uh, for the courses, we actually use 64K because we're not using a lot of music and things. And so for speech, it's just fine. 44.1K sample rate mono with 64 kilobits per second. Um, select MP3 here. <clears throat> All right, table of contents. So this lists the different items in the table of contents, the different markers I made. I want to make sure that this right here is checked to produce multiple files, a different file for each item in your table of contents. So it breaks things up. If the file's too big, it can be a problem. It actually won't render. So that breaks it down into separate files and it's going to be a lot uh, smoother by doing that. All right, over here on the controls tab, click on the loading movie. Now the loading movie is the little movie that comes up when it first brings up, uh, you've probably seen this before, when it first brings up the, the browser and the player and it's loading up the movie, it's buffering the first part of the movie, it brings this up. And the default one is this Camtasia Studio branded uh, loading movie. And of course that gives Camtasia some free advertising. It's very smart of them to make that the default. Ideally, this should be your brand here. And we're actually gonna be getting this made for Internet Business Mastery, something with our logo and uh, a loading bar with along with our logo. So this just needs to be an SWF movie if you hire anybody that knows how to do Flash and create Flash, that'll do that for you. So uh, you can have that made. Or you can just come here and select one of the other ones that they have. There's a lot of other ones that they have that don't have the Camtasia name in there if you prefer. Set this uh, to percent of main movie to preload, 1%, minimum preload movie display time, 2 seconds. So by changing, by lowering, I think the default here is 10%, 10, 10, 10 but if you bring this down and lower this to, you know, try 1 or 2 or 3, see how it works for you, but lower these and that'll mean the video plays faster, it doesn't have to load up as much, preload up as much before it plays. All right, let's click OK on that. And now we're going to go to change dimensions. This is asking you what dimensions do you want to use for the player? This is giving you a little preview right here. Here's the different markers. You want to make sure that your table of contents is wide enough that it doesn't cut off your table of contents, but make sure that um, uh, you know it's not way out here. You want the total width of your player from each side, whoops, from each side to be about 1024 is what I like. That's a good resolution uh, that most uh, screens will be able to play. So um, you can't see it on this screen. Let's see, I can actually bring it down here real quick. But down here is where you want to uh, set that. You set, you click on custom, you set your table of contents width, and you set the width of the video area over here. And you want these two to total to be less than 1024. So uh, that's something important to keep in mind as well. All right, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. All right, so the next thing we do is we click on Next. Nothing that we do on this one. Uh, this is, we can skip past this because we already made sure we checked both of these buttons. And then right here is where you tell it where to save off. And then I tell it to organize the product into a subfolder so that I can just upload that subfolder to the uh, to the server. And then you click finish and it starts rendering. So basically what you need to do is buy and use Camtasia for creating your materials. Hire someone to create that custom loading video for you so that you're not using the Camtasia branded one. That's just an SWF file and then use the settings suggested in this video. So hopefully that helps you in producing your own materials. And uh, thanks for joining me for this video. We'll talk to you again soon. Of all the sites on the internet, there is only one where exclusive content is waiting to be found. Visit internetbusinessmastery.com now. Sign up for the email newsletter and discover the Web 2.0 Internet Business Secrets that will transport you into the next stage of the internet. Experience all 90 minutes of money-making, traffic-boosting strategies. internetbusinessmastery.com